Hello! Welcome to R&B's Bar and Gym. I'm Daddy Rob, and you must be here for Daddy's Sex Talk. Well, hold the seat, buckle up, and let's get started. In the first part of our series, How Do I Know If I'm Gay?, we talked about what gay is and how complicated an identity it is. Today we're going to talk about what gay isn't. There are a lot of people who think that there is some defining factor or characteristic that makes somebody gay. This is simply not true. There are a lot of myths out there about what gay men are and are not. So we're going to explore a few of them and debunk them along the way. Gay is a sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is a scientific term, and there are technical words that identify somebody's sexual orientation. Among them are homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, the list goes on. Those are sexual orientations. Gay is a sexual identity, and just because you're gay does not mean that you are homosexual. You might be homoromantic or homosocial. If you want further exploration of those terms, I suggest you check out the first video in this series. There is a gay identity, there is a homosexual sexual orientation. Those are not the same thing. There may be some overlap, but they're not the same thing. Being gay is a choice. Come here for a second. Being gay is not a choice. Being gay is not a choice. Being gay is not a choice. It's been said time and time again, why would somebody choose an identity? that is so rife with prejudice and violence and harm to the individual. A lot of straight men have said that at one point in their youth, they thought they might be gay, but then chose to be straight or chose not to be gay. And I think a lot of these stories revolve around young boys who have fixations on a celebrity, whether it be a sports celebrity or an action star celebrity. There's some highly masculine person that they have found an affinity for and have thought that they loved or that they, in a sense, lusted after, but then quickly got over it and recognized that they were straight. This is not the same experience that a young gay boy has. A gay boy has feelings like that every day, and it's not just about attraction to other men, it's knowing that you are somehow different than all the other boys, and this is a daily struggle. They, there are many gay youth who recognize that there's something different about them, and they don't want to have anything be different about them. They want to be the same as everybody else, and if they could flip a switch in that moment and choose to be straight, they would. The fact that they still want to be gay after going through all that internal struggle and going out into the world and seeing what they see should say something to the straight population about how endemic being gay is to an individual. I, like many gay people, have had violent words and violent actions directed towards me simply because of an identity. Why would anybody choose that? Being gay is unnatural. Uh, being gay is not unnatural. It is impossible for anything to be unnatural. Everything that exists is natural. It either came from an organic state or it was created from something that you can break down to an organic state. But regardless of how something came into being, it came into being naturally. Nothing unnatural can exist. I get that that's a semantic thing, but I'm tired of hearing people talk about gay people being unnatural. Like there was some divine or evolutionary plan that said that people were supposed to be heterosexual. Basically what we're talking about is not whether something's unnatural or natural, we're getting into whether you consider it abnormal or normal. And as homosexuality has shown up in almost every species in existence, I would argue that it's probably more normal than you think. Why it exists is still a question. Where it came from is still a question. Whether it's nature or nurture is still a question. But it is natural and it is normal. Gay is a mental disorder. Being gay is not a mental disorder. There are many gay men who are struggling with mental health issues because of the conflict between their identity and societal expectations of them and the prejudice and the bigotry that they face out in the world. But being gay in and of itself is not a mental health issue. It can become very challenging for a gay man to keep his mental health when the world seems to be against him just simply because of who he loves or who he sleeps with. Pedophilia is a mental health disorder. 
but gay men are not pedophiles. It is an unfortunate connection that many people in society have made that gay men are more likely to be pedophiles, but straight men are actually more likely to be pedophiles. In fact, our straight society seems to have a lot of imagery around older men and younger women. There's even entertainment around the concept of older men with underage girls. You can look at everything from Lolita to Gigi. <laughs> Thank heaven for little girl. Now that's disturbing. Those who have an identity of gay are not more likely to be sexually compulsive just because they're gay. Every person is vulnerable to sexual compulsion. What a lot of society sees in gay men as sexual compulsion is their concept that they are bouncing from one relationship to another or having sex with strangers routinely. A lot of that has to do with, until recently, the U.S. society has denied the viability of same-sex relationships. It wasn't until marriage equality that there was a public statement that same-sex relationships are just as valid as opposite-sex relationships. When you're told your whole life that your relationship is invalid and you don't have the same rights in your, as, in your relationship as everybody else, you start to internalize that. And the message that you hear is, my relationships don't last. And it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You can't tell somebody they can't have something and then blame them for not having it. I think what we're seeing with marriage equality is more same-sex relationships lasting longer because gay people are getting the message now that their relationships are just as valid as everybody else's and the level of commitment is the same as anybody else's. Being gay is not a mental disorder or something that needs to be fixed. There is a gay lifestyle. There is no gay lifestyle. Gay lifestyle is not a thing. Strike that from your vocabulary. Saying somebody has a gay lifestyle or that there is a gay lifestyle is the same as saying love the sinner, hate the sin. It implies that the gay identity is something that is taken on. I just went gay all of a sudden. And that it fits the same on everybody and is the same thing and can be as easily removed as it has been taken on. A lifestyle implies that you're living a certain way and that can change. And being gay is not something that can change. And not every gay person lives the same life. Not every gay person goes to the same bars. Not every gay person enjoys the same activities. There are gay people who enjoy sports. There are gay people who enjoy theater. There are gay people who enjoy hobbies. There are gay people who enjoy gaming. There's a whole spectrum of gay identities within the gay identity, just as there are in any other group. There's a double standard that comes to how one should live their life. And gay people somehow get compartmentalized into what other people consider is their lifestyle, where everybody else gets a full spectrum of options on how they can live out their life. There is no straight lifestyle. There's no gay lifestyle. It's an insult to say so. Well, thank you for joining me for today's episode of Daddy Sex Talk. Again, I'm Daddy Rob. If you have any questions or comments about this particular video, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at the Daddy Rob, or email me at daddyrob at daddyrob.com. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and ring the bell if you want to be notified of my future videos. And again, thank you for spending the time with me. And remember, Daddy loves you. <laughs>